For this demonstration, I'm going to set up a new data quality test. So I'm here on the Calibra data quality landing page. Under the test data menu, I'm going to select new data quality test. DQ is going to display the available connections. So in the previous demonstration, I added Postgre demo. So I'm going to use that for this. I'm going to start by expanding the menu. Then I'm going to expand samples. We're going to use the New York Stock Exchange information. I'm going to click Create DQ Job. On this page, DQ is going to show me all the available columns in the data set. It's also going to give me a preview of the data that's in the data set. I'm going to start by deselecting all of the columns. I'm going to select one at a time, and as I do that, the query builder will change the query that is being used. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them, and I'll update to select star. I also want to select a date range. For this, I'll use trade date. specify a date. And again, we see that the, the query changes as I make changes. I'm going to click build model. And now I have a data set that I can run test against. I'm going to click run. The first step is to estimate the job. So this will tell you how many resources are required, the row count and the column count. And then I can run the job. And once I click run, I get a success message down in the right hand corner. The job has been queued. I can expand the menu and go to jobs to verify or check the status of the job. I see this one has been submitted, but has not yet run. Once the job is run, I can click the name of the data set. And I'm taken to the scorecard. And this is going to have information about the job that has been completed.